we just come to you in prayer right now and we welcome the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill this place. Holy Spirit, have your way. Father, you are good. You are the good, good Father. And even for us who don't have fathers in the physical realm, don't have fathers in our life, don't have fathers in our family, we know that our Father in heaven is the good, good Father. You are good, Lord. You are good, no matter what happens in our life. You are good, and we praise you no matter what. You are good no matter what. Anything that comes in our life, comes our way, that we, that burdens us, that we mourn over, any difficulties that come in our life, any hardship, we praise you anyway, God, because we know you are good and you want the best for us. You are the good Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you did on the cross to, to heal us, to bring us salvation, to set us free, to set us free from bondage and all the things going on in our life and in our mind, but we can still have joy amidst all of our troubles, amidst all of our trials. We can still have joy. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of salvation. Thank you for the blood that was shed on the cross. Thank you for dying a perfect man with no sin, but you died for us in replacement of us. We deserve punishment for our sin, but you took that punishment on the cross, and we don't take that lightly. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for the blood that was shed on the cross, and we know it was by that blood, by the blood shed on the cross, you dying and you rising, you, you rose again, that was to give us the gift of salvation. That even though we're, we're not perfect, even though we mess up, even though we sin, even though we break the rules, even though we keep falling over and over, we keep falling, we keep failing, we are not good enough to be in the presence of the Lord. But because of Jesus Christ, we have a key to heaven. We have an open door to our Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the way to our Father in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for giving us access to you where we can come to you in prayer. And we have the Holy Spirit to guide us. We have the Holy Spirit who can help us. We can get through this life. We can get through the hardship. We can get through the hard times because we have you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross to give us access to heaven, access to our Father. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And we proclaim right now that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and has defeated death, has defeated sin, has defeated the enemy. We thank you, Jesus. And anybody who maybe has strayed away from the faith, anybody who doesn't know you we can all receive the gift of salvation and we can all receive the gift of healing and being set free by just accepting jesus christ as our lord and savior that's all we have to do accept the gift thank you jesus for giving us that gift and we receive it now in jesus name we repent of our sins we repent of our sins all we have to do is repent and believe. So Father, I just pray right now that you search our hearts. Search our hearts and help us to know what we need to repent of. Just think right now in this, in the quiet time, what is what is coming to your mind that you need to repent to the Father of? What behaviors have you had in your the way that you speak, the way that you think, in your actions? What do you need to repent? What do you need to repent of? 
Just say it out loud right now to the Father. Father, I repent of my sins. I want to change my ways. I want nothing in me that's not of you, God. Right now, I close the door to the enemy. I close the door to evil. I close the door to darkness. Whatever I knowingly or unknowingly did that was against you, Father, that grieved your Holy Spirit, whatever was wrong, whatever was sin, I close the door now. I reject sin. I reject darkness. I reject the ways of evil. Lord, I repent of it. I repent of my ways that are not of you, Lord. I repent of my ways that are against what the Word of God says. I repent, Lord. We repent, Lord. Father, search our hearts. If there's anything else that we need to repent of you, search our hearts and bring it to our mind now. And I'll, I'll let us sit in silence, and if there's anything you need to repent of, even anger, Lord, we, re we repent of our anger. Lord, we repent of our unforgiveness. Lord, we repent of our, our resentment that we've had deep down inside. We, re we repent of our bitterness we've had. Lord, pull it out. Pull out the root of bitterness that we've had. Pull out the root of resentment we've had deep down inside. Pull out the root of unforgiveness, God. Jesus commanded us to forgive. So pull out that root of unforgiveness. And Lord, we declare that we forgive every single person that has hurt us. Father, forgive us of our pride. We repent of our pride. We repent of our jealousy. We repent of our ways that are not of you. We repent of our gossip. We repent of speaking down to others. We know that you hate that. You hate when people are haughty and, and think that they're better than somebody else. Lord, we repent of thinking we're better than we are. We repent of that. We repent of the depression we've had because we know that you give us joy. There is joy in the morning. And we can, we can mourn the loss of things that we wished we had, people that we wished we were close to, people we've lost, we can mourn. But at the same time that we mourn and have a broken heart, we can come to our Father and we can have joy in the Lord because the joy of the Lord is our strength. So, Father, we repent when we partner with our depression, when we partner with our anxiety. We don't partner with those things. We reject those because there is joy in the Lord, and you are our strength. Help us to overcome those things and help us to reject the lies from the enemy. We reject the thoughts the enemy plants in our mind, and we accept the truth of what you say we are, God. We accept the truth of who you say we are, God. We accept the truth of who we are destined to be in Christ. Lord, we repent of any spoken words we've said against ourselves or anyone else. We repent of those words we've said. And I pray, God, that you will help us to speak life, not death, with our tongues. Lord, I pray that you help us to bless others and not to curse them in Jesus' name. Lord, help us to realize how powerful the tongue is, how powerful spoken words are. And help us to remember that in every conversation we have about people and to people, even to ourself, God. Help us to speak life and blessing. Help us to never speak death or curses over anyone. Help us not to wish harmful things on anyone or speak harmful things to anyone. Lord, help us to bless people with our words and with our actions. Help us to bless people. So, so I'll just have a moment of, of silence where if there's anything else that you need to deal with the Lord, repent of, forgive. If you need to forgive anyone, say their name out loud and say you, you make a decision to forgive them. Right now, just go ahead and, and speak out loud to the Lord in repentance and in forgiveness.
thank you for forgiving us, Father. Thank you for forgiving us of our sin and our error and our things that we do that hurt others. Oh, thank you for forgiving us, Father. And Lord, help us to be the same way with the same heart, being one in Christ. Help us to forgive others just as you forgave us, God. And Lord, we just pray right now a prayer to break curses because the blood that was shed on the cross by Jesus Christ, it declared victory. We received victory and curses were broken when Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose again. The victory was won, the battle was won, and curses were broken. So we claim that victory right now as we pray to break generational curses and generational sin in Jesus' name. By the power and authority of Jesus Christ, we are redeemed from the curse through the blood of Jesus. We are the seed of Abraham and his blessing is ours. We choose blessing instead of cursing and life instead of death. We break and release ourselves from all generational curses and iniquities as a result of the sins of our ancestors in the name of Jesus. We break and release ourselves from all curses on both sides of our family back 60 generations. We break all curses of witchcraft, sorcery, and divination in the name of Jesus Christ. We break and release ourselves from all curses of pride and rebellion in the name of Jesus. We break and release ourselves from all curses of death and destruction in the name of Jesus. We break and rebuke all curses of sickness and infirmity in the name of Jesus. We break and release ourselves from all curses of poverty, lack, and debt in the name of Jesus. We break and release ourselves from all curses of rejection in the name of Jesus. We break and release ourselves from all curses of double-mindedness and schizophrenia in the name of Jesus. We break and release ourselves from all curses of Jezebel and Ahab in the name of Jesus. We break and release ourselves from all curses of divorce and separation in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you set a guard over our spirit, soul, and body to never again connect with people that we've had ungodly connections or soul ties with in this ungodly way. We break that now. We give them back what's theirs. We take back what's ours in the name of Jesus. We nail to the cross the lie that joining with those people in those ungodly ways was necessary, needed, or wanted on our part. We break all agreements that we've made with lies known or unknown and we turn away from them and turn away from joining with it in Jesus' mighty name. And I'm going to read some Kingdom Blessing Confessions from Prayers That Activate Blessings by John Eckhart. I am in the Kingdom through faith in Christ and I receive the blessings of the kingdom. Christ is my redemption, and I am the ransomed of the Lord. I have passed from curse to blessing because I am ransomed, it says in Isaiah. The Lord is my ransom, it says in 1 Timothy. I am redeemed from the curse, and the blessing of Abraham is mine, it says in Galatians. I am redeemed from poverty, sickness, and spiritual death. I am redeemed from destruction, and I am crowned with loving kindness and tender mercies, it says in Psalms. I am redeemed from all curses of the law. I am redeemed from the curse of poverty. I am redeemed from all curses of sickness and disease, hallelujah. I am redeemed from all curses of insanity and madness. Thank you, Jesus. 
I am redeemed from all curses of fear and terror. They have to go in Jesus' name because we did not get a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. That is what we, we get from our Lord. That is what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gave to us. Power, love, and a sound mind. And we need to claim that truth and live in it. We are redeemed from all curses of rejection and abuse. We are redeemed from cursing, confusion, and rebuke, it says in Deuteronomy. We are redeemed from the inflammation. We are redeemed from severe burning. We are redeemed from drought. Jesus. We are redeemed from having no strength. We are redeemed from oppression and crushing, it says in Deuteronomy. We are redeemed from miscarriage. Right now, I break any curses on the womb in Jesus' name. I break by the power and authority of Jesus Christ, any curses that have been put on the womb and the woman that is causing her to not be able to be able to bear children, I break that now. And I pray with the power and authority of Jesus Christ that anybody who has not been able to have kids and has been trying to have kids, by the power and authority of Jesus Christ, I pray that God will open up your womb and he will give you the blessing of being able to bear children in Jesus' name. All curses on the womb broken. All generational curses broken. They were broken by the blood shed on the cross. Thank you, Jesus. We are redeemed from fierce enemies. We are redeemed from all plagues. We are redeemed from all diseases. Deuteronomy says all these things that we are redeemed from. We are redeemed from distress. We are redeemed from serious sickness. We are redeemed. Our Redeemer is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And when we walk in the power and authority of Jesus Christ, we are redeemed. It says so many things in Deuteronomy that we are saved from, we are redeemed from. But we just have to walk in the victory of Christ. And we have to close the door to the enemy and not believe his lies. Father, I pray. I'm going to put this book down. Father, I pray that everyone will realize that the battle has already been won. That Jesus Christ, when he died on the cross, he won the victory. He defeated the enemy. He defeated sickness. He defeated death. He gave us the power of healing. Healing in our body. Healing in our mind. Healing in our emotions. And all we have to do is live in Christ. All we have to do is come to you in prayer and in praying fervently, in praying in the Spirit, in allowing you to deposit the Holy Spirit in us. You give us power. You give us the ability to heal. You give us the ability to be able to break through and be able to break, break, through the, break away from all the bondage that has held us back and held us down for so long. Thank you, Jesus, for setting us free and help us to claim that and open the gift that you gave us when we received our salvation. You gave us so many more gifts and we just have to open them. You gave us the gift of healing. You gave us the gift of being able to be redeemed. You gave us the, all these gifts and God, I just pray that you will reveal them to us and help us to open them. Lord, I pray for healing for anyone who is sick I pray for healing for anyone who is broken I pray for emotional healing for anyone who's brokenhearted I pray you will heal their broken heart God heal their broken heart for anyone who's who is just stuck in addiction father break those strongholds break those strongholds and help them to overcome addiction by the power of Jesus Christ by the power and authority we receive from Jesus Christ, give them strength and set them free from their addictions in Jesus' name. I break the generational curses of addiction. I break the generational curses of abuse. Father, with the power and authority of Jesus Christ, 
I break the curses of generational sexual sin. I break those curses now. We break those in agreement because all those curses were broken on the cross. And we claim that now. We claim that victory now. All generational dysfunction, all generational poverty broken in Jesus' name. I pray that we are the first generation that will make something out of nothing in our family line. In our family line where people just couldn't get it together, couldn't keep a job, they couldn't be successful. I break that now in Jesus' name. And I pray that from now on, for generations to come, we will be successful and we will be prosperous because we are clinging to our Father, God in heaven, and we are obeying the word. And we have Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, and Savior, and we walk in victory and we walk in prosperity because that is what you want for us, God. But we have to close the door to the enemy. We have to close the door to evil. We have to close the door to worldliness and material things that are that we make our God, but that's not you. You don't want us to make our God material things and money. You, you are our God. And you want us to put you first and seek your kingdom first. And then all things will be given to us if we have our heart right with you. So help us to close the door to the enemy. Help us to close the door to things that are not of you. And help us to chase after you, Lord, and just walk in the truth and walk in the light and walk in the word of God. Holding fast to that, just following Christ. And I know that you will bless us and you will break all those curses and generational sin and things that have held our family back for generations. No more. We break that now in Jesus' name. And I pray, God, that you will help us to walk in the victory of Christ. You will help us to walk in the destiny of what you destined our family and our generations to be. But the enemy stole. I pray, God, in Jesus' name, you will help us to take back what the enemy stole. And walk in the victory that you wanted us to walk in. Walk in the destiny you wanted us to walk in. Walk in our calling that you wanted us to walk in. You want us to prosper. You want us to have peace. You want us to have joy. You want us to have wonderful, healthy, loving families. You want us to have beautiful lives full of abundance and growth and good things. So help us to walk in that, God. Help us to walk in that victory and our calling that you gave us. Help us to take back what the enemy stole and to shut the door to the enemy. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for blessings on everybody listening to this. I pray that curses will be broken and blessings will come upon everybody who calls upon the name of the Lord and believes in Jesus Christ and follows the word. I pray blessings on everyone. I pray prosperity on everyone who follows Christ. I pray the joy of the Lord. Father, I pray that you just pour your oil of the joy of the Lord on everyone listening. I pray you fill everyone with a fresh filling of the Holy Spirit and fill us with the fruits of the Spirit, God. I pray that you fill us with love, joy, peace, kindness, patience, self-control, forbearance, more faith, God. Give us more faith. Help us to trust Help us to have love in our hearts. Help us, God, I pray for healing, complete healing. Help us to be whole in Christ alone. Father, I pray that you, you just eliminate all fear and help us to walk in love. Perfect love drives out fear. There is no fear in love. And I pray that you will just give us an abundance of love in our hearts, God, that we can love ourselves First of all, love you first and love ourselves and love others and that we can all be one in Christ. I pray for reconciliation, for relationships and friendships that have been broken and torn apart. I pray for reconciliation, God. I pray for peace. I pray for everyone to work together and come together. 
Oh Lord, I pray that you just fill us all with your Holy Spirit and help us just to walk in the freedom of Christ and walk in the joy of the Lord and walk in love. We lift all of this up to you and we thank you for setting us free. Thank you, Jesus, for setting us free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Help us to live a life that glorifies you. Help us to live a life that shines the light of Christ in us. Help us to live in our calling and our destiny that you appointed us to have that you want us to have. Help us to walk in it. We lift all this up to you and we praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name.